Oh. We have a newcomer. There we go. Hello gamers, my name is games cakes and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. In the last episode we miserably failed to get a horde and I found out why. Apparently that was down to me not logging in before midnight the day before. So I should have logged in... Oh, hello. I should have logged in at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock on day 13 or before midnight on day 13. And um, that would have uh, made sure the horde comes. So for some reason, it's a bug in the code. Well, it probably is. A, it has to be a bug, I suppose. Whereby... Um, I can eat that and put that in there. Yeah. Whereby, if you're logged off after midnight, so any time on the day 14, it doesn't trigger the horde. At 10 o'clock in the evening, the, the night night starts. Ah, come on. The night night starts and um, it should just spawn the horde there because they spawn fresh. They're not actually coming running from anywhere. They actually get spawned in the radius of uh, in the radius of your um, location. So it's not like they get spawned like somewhere across the map and then have to make their way over to you. That used to be like that, but that's not the case anymore. They literally get spawned. So it doesn't make sense that you you should be able to log off actually at two minutes. To 10 and then still be able to um, get the horde at 10 o'clock logging back in now I understand once the horde is spawned that if you log off it um, is gone oh hey guys oh these guys don't sound happy oh there's a few of them hello I think we're gonna have to make sure we have our coffee let's take the twins on Okay, well, it's not a horde, but it will do. There we go. Is there anybody else? Hello. There we go. Now that is lovely because I have set the zombie spawn to high. Oh, you're getting back up. Down, boy! <laughs> so we should have some fun with, like, uh, uh, finally some spawns where there's actually a good few in numbers. Come on, you stay down. But the funny thing is, I have still my difficulty at whatever the default is, and they seem to be getting stronger and taking more hits, even though I have only increase the spawn so I wonder I wouldn't be surprised if they messed up the settings and the higher spawn rate actually increases the, <laughs> the difficulty of the game instead well I know some zo some zombies are actually quite uh, a lot tougher than others oh we have a newcomer There we go. Thank you. Oh, is that a plane or was that a bee? Is that a bee? Wow, nice. I didn't think we had bees. No, no touching. There you go. You get it in the face if you try to touch. That's the problem. Oh, hey, bee. This guy's tough. Holy moly! Is he nearly like a pharaoh? There we go. Now we have them down. Oh, we can eat that straight away. If you look at the map, this is where we came in. So, I think this... Would this make a good house? Or maybe that? So let's have a quick look over there. Come here. 
Oh, beautiful. He ran right into that one. Oh, my dear. Would you guys just take a chill pill? I like it. Oh, I want that. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, well, this makes up for the horde, I suppose, a little bit. But the idea is basically that, um... Oh, crap! Quick, 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 quick! Take a tablet. go. She's not dead yet, though, I think. There we go. Dead. Dead. Anybody else? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see you guys when it's bright. <laughs> Again. Okay, guys. And we're back. We found a nice little place that um, on the map here. I've made sure that I uncovered everything and that we can just go for a nice loot run, hopefully. But there is a building in particular which I want to look at first. I think it's this one here. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to say I didn't loot anything yet, so we can do that while I'm talking. And um, that was the thing that I wanted to, to do. Somebody in the comments had a great idea. They said, why don't you put a, uh, a chest, you know, somewhere in the middle of the street or something. And they can see what you get from all the houses. So if I do any off-camera looting or I do any uh, fast-forward looting or time lapses or anything, then we can put the chest there. Oh, look at that. Nice. I don't know. I think I already know that. I actually don't know. Now, somebody said to read the recipes from in here because sometimes when they go in here, you don't really get them. That It doesn't come up that you learned it. But this one, I think I already know. No, it doesn't show anything. So let me see. But I already have it. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, look at that. I think I already know that as well. Shotgun shells, yeah. And um, when we put... Anyway, when we put... In this case, I can scrap them into uh, paper. In this case uh, of looting then we can put the chest in the middle of the village somewhere or whatever and then everybody can see what we got so the bottled water i'm going to keep on me actually and i'm going to keep the beer here just in case we get surprised and we have to do a legger then the short iron pipe i'm going to put here i think we can make a bellow and we can start making a forge which would be pretty cool but um yes and in case you're worried i'm not abandoning my base um that we have here because it's not really that far away, so I can walk back into there, yeah? This is the desert base we have, and I actually would like to continue building on it, but we are forced to really wander about because we looted the hope. The hope is looted. This won't respawn for... When I, when I say looted, I know we didn't loot all the buildings, and we can still do that, but I went into the main key stores, but we still need to find um, most of the motorbike stuff. If you look at the motorbike stuff here, or a bike, is it? Yeah, we can. We don't. We don't know how to make handlebars yet, or the seat, so we can't actually make a mini bike yet. So let's go downstairs and let's start. Oh, I actually haven't done that yet. I repaired my tools, and that's why they're downgraded. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish looting this with you guys here now, and then we're gonna go and do a loot run in a nice couple of stores. Okay, I I don't really. Ugh, okay, leave the turtle. There. I'm not really going to do anything with that. Okay, so here we are. This is where one of the points of interest is, if you look across the street. There we go. There's a work tool station, which is here. And I think this here is the other point of interest. So if we look at that. Actually, let's go here. And let's go through there, because that's the front of the house. So anyway, this is only uh, just another base, okay? And let's see where... There is another shop. Oh, it's over here on that side. 
and yeah we can't see it because of this building here but what we can do is we can go down here Boom. there we go i haven't searched it either i tried not to loot anything at all unless this was you guys on camera or um and i did increase the zombie spawn to high i'm not going into the houses yet because i want to go to the store first we do need a little bit of wood for trace and we need some of these guys because these are all fancy houses they don't have cloth for curtains they have blinds which don't give you anything so we're gonna get one tree only one tree should be enough for the moment because i had to make about 50 wood frames so i can remember what i looted and what not there we go now this store here or this store there i'm not sure this oh this is a shotgun messiah oh look at that an airdrop Oh, we're so going for that. Yes! And we might want to have our... What a coincidence! And it's, it's raining in the snow biome. How, how shit is that? These zombies are tough here. When I was walking around earlier trying to uncover all that, these guys are so tough. They're tough as balls. So come on. Come on. Oh, shit and they walk in a real erratic line as well okay I need to yes here's the crate okay so now we can dance around the crate nice open area where we can fight this guy see what he has on him oh some cloth which is nice this was completely lucky because i can't hear oh look at that how sweet is that shotgun slug schematics oh do we already know them we do set in concrete Ooh. oh concrete mix we will be able i'm gonna read it from here read Yes! Concrete mix! Oh, this is so awesome! We can finally do concrete. This is gonna be so great. We're gonna turn that into paper. Scrap that, because you already know it. And this is gonna be... Oh, this is a great find. I'm so excited. This is amazing. So let's go into this store here, because this store here is gonna be a fantastic opportunity to hopefully find more important recipes. Now, there's a lot of room here, so we're going to use that car actually as storage so we don't have to craft any storage. I think that's a great idea. But we leave the water on us because... Actually, we don't need the water on us. Let's. And I love that I have snow by because that allows me to actually make water. Murky water, which is awesome. So if we look at uh, taking our shovel here... If you guys actually look at the snow here, which is so close, it is so fantastic. Boom, snow, snow, look at this, one hit. Ba-boom, 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 it's just absolutely fantastic. Can we actually dig trees? Oh, no. oh, shit! Does that give us wood? No, it doesn't. Of course not. Yes, they just destroy the trees now. That's a great solution, actually. I think that, <laughs> coincidentally, like, uh, they dealt with it really, really well. Okay, so let's go into the bookshop. And uh, let's see what we have in sight. There we go. Skill of mining. And um, the snow and empty bottles you can now make into murky water, which is absolutely awesome. So if you look at the empty bottles here, in case you didn't know that, of course, I mean, most of you, well, all of you probably already know that. But just in case you didn't, you go recipes, go murky water, boom, there you go. Isn't that pretty cool? Murky water. And living that close to the snow biome is pretty, pretty sweet. So there you go. Okay. And it levels up some sort of crafting thing, most likely in the process. Okay, so let's get in here and um, see what we get. Um, let's go with the... with the wood. There we go. I'm just going to put these guys here. 
Oh, okay. So that's a bit of lead, which is nice. And yeah, it's a pity I, I didn't uh, I didn't think we're gonna be able to find something as nice as this here, like to build another base, because otherwise I would have brought a couple of more parts. But I'm really, really hoping to find soon the mini bike things. And we are gonna fully search. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna actually pick them all up, so you guys don't, uh, so I don't read them as we loot. I just do that in the end. And I know here's where we use the wrench again. You guys told me that, but if some of you didn't know that, using the wrench on these. Oh no, you can't. Oh, okay. So what do we use on them? This guy, yeah, gives us leather, which is really really cool. Now, why do I remove these guys? Well, I remove them so I can put things in front of the doors. This is locked. This is locked. Excellent. So we didn't waste our time. So we're going to take these guys straight with us. Very nice. I continue looting the bookshelves now in a second. I just finished this here. Nice. And this one loot as well. Oh, another water. Brilliant. Because we can do with another drink. Okay. And let's go back to continue looting. Now I'm gonna... I don't need glass actually because we don't really have a shortage of... Uh, oh, here we go. Untouched. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We just got that. That's the exploding bolt. That's the standard book. We already looted that. Let's destroy that for some nice leather. And this is open. No? Okay. Might as well just go in there right away. We're going to be using the wrench in, to, in these places. Oh, no. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, don't want that. Now, these guys here, you can't wrench them, but you can do these things here. Again, you guys told me that, but anybody who didn't know that, you just left click on these things. And you get pipes and some scrap, which is really cool. You don't get springs or anything. Um, that's just in the visual animation as you do that. And then these guys are just metal. Okay, that's empty. Empty. Usually we find coffee in here. Oh, no more water, because water and coffee is usually what you find in these toilets. <laughs> but it's good to get the pipe as well. Now, I brought nearly 40 Forge Shine with me. And I did some repairs, so I have about 35 or so left. But um, we definitely want to get a Forge going. Now, toilets, sometimes there's pistols in there, but... Excellent. That's again pipes and scrap iron. Can't say no to that. And yeah, the human shit, I could actually pick that up and throw it at zombies to distract them. But, you know, we, we play with always running zombies. We want to get some action, you know, so we don't want to all of them just to be boring and distract them. There you go. Oh, drink is lovely. Yes. Oh, that was actually a really good find, like a few of the, of the drink bottles. Another beer. Very nice. This is actually turning out to be quite an interesting um, city we found here, or a village. What, what are we going to name it? We have to give this name, village a name. I want to put a marker on it and give it a name. So when we come back here, like, uh, like I would give it something generic. I don't know the states, uh, uh, America, so I would pick names like Knoxville or whatever, or, well, I don't know, whatever. It's a random generated map, so it's not depicted, uh, it's not made after the true city, I suppose. So let's see if we have anything more to loot in here. I know there's more bookshelves, I'll get to them in a second. Very good. So let's scrap that, let's scrap that, you know, to constantly keep an eye on things that can be scrapped. And we can scrap that, we have enough drink bottles. We actually don't need to keep the glass either, because we're not going to be short on... Uh, and this we can actually eat. I just, chili is always a waste of uh, space. There we go. It's, that is all empty. Excellent. So we're going to go in here in the end. So what we do now is we're going to go through the second row of bookshelves. And again, I try not to read anything until I have it all. Okay, I think that's the Ammonation Nation book, which we already have. But you guys were really good in the comments as well, letting me know that we don't actually need to read that book to get the shells, and now the crossbow comes after I already found it on the way, but hey ho, better than nothing. Okay, there's some armor on the wrench, okay, we already have all that, and there's more armor. Oh, nice, there's some iron armor, that is always interesting. Okay, let's scrap that, get the basket, 
Yeah, it's a ah, it's a crappy basket. We don't no, that's too crappy. We don't even want that. Okay, found some duplicate recipes. I know I didn't do the bookshelf behind me yet. That's a book. That's nothing. And let's finish this row and then the back room and then we're done. I'm gonna leave this for this episode then here because, um, again, pff, there's not much more to do. Like, we have to... Oh, an auger. We have to loot some things. Okay, let me see what we have, you know. Leather pants schematics. Um... We're gonna keep them for um, for bombs. We need to find more um, ways of getting coal and uh, potassium. I have to go back to the old base, and I do that off camera. I just walk across, I get a couple of beers, and just run across. It doesn't really make a difference. So this is oh no, this is not looted yet. I thought we already looted that. Okay, that's all done, all empty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the car and put all that stuff in here. We keep that with us because we're going to find more of that. We're going to put the tape in there, the leather. Um, yeah, we're going to scrap that. Put that in there. Actually, just in case we find more of that. There we go. And let's put, put all these guys in here and see which ones we read already and which ones we're going to read. And now we're going to go back in and get the rest in the back room. So yeah, but, sorry, but this is the name of the game, you know. If you you tell me if you want me to stop doing that because we only just looted a few episodes ago, but doing the loot runs—that's what this game is all about, you know. Uh, looting, finding more places, looting again. Oh, the riddle of steel. We all know that we already have that, so we can scrap that. We also know we have that, so we can scrap that. Ammunition Nation book, we read that because it does not teach you 9mm at all, and we already read it, so we can scrap that. And the Riddle of Steel we already have because we can already make steel. There you go, steel arrows, steel crossbolts. We should be... Oh yeah, you can make them anyway with other recipes. So Riddle of Steel we don't need anymore, so we can scrap that. Um, leather Pants. Oh, it doesn't look like it. So let's learn it. I don't think we... There we are. Oh, no, we didn't get it. Okay, so if we didn't learn it, where is it? Leather pants. Pants. Leather pants. Leather leg armor? Is that it? Yeah, in that case we did learn it. Oh, we probably already knew it. So the leather jacket. It's leather chest armor. Why can't they name them the same thing? This is so confusing. I mean, some of the basics sometimes you think like, you know, you could... Um, let's just read them all just in case. So... Because I don't want to miss anything because I forgot to read it. So we get the iron boots, which is unlocked now. We get the auger, which I think we already knew. We read that. I'm putting it down here because of that apparent book that somebody told me about where we know we know the wrench, so I can scrap that. And exploding crossbow balls, we know that. And crossbow, we can make the crossbow, I know that, because we found that uh, recipe already. So scrap, and then leather gloves, just in case. And then we can scrap the second one. Okay, so we're gonna leave this episode here. Um, I hope this was okay with you guys. And again, let me know in the in the, in the comments the feedback because otherwise I don't know. If you don't tell me, you know. Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are you? Where's the growling coming from? I can hear it. I can't see anything. Okay, it must be crawler. Whew. 
Whew, you gave me a fright, man. Oh, nice. Let me see. Oh, minus 580. So, haha, don't need yours. Scrap that. And scrap that. All right, I'm going to bring everything back to my house. And I see you guys in the next episode when we're going to go into the Shotgun Messiah, probably, and into the, the tool store. And of course, we're going to loot the houses as well. I'm going to do that most likely in a time lapse, though. And as I said, I dump everything into chests uh, in the middle of the village. And um, that way we can see actually what the loot all was. And then we're going to take all that and bring it back to the main base. And um, I cut all this out. I mean, the benefit of having a motorbike, obviously, a mini bike, is that you don't have to suffer through uh, me walking. But you don't. You know, you have the benefit of me editing out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. And then we're going to follow this road and see where we come. Hopefully that road and this road will somewhere maybe find another village here. So we're gonna see what is here basically in this area and uh, down here. We follow the main roads basically. And then we might end up um, going down here or something. We never know, we'll see. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick the like button in the arse like a G4K ninja. And I hope I see you guys in another episode. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Well, this is on camera, so it's okay, so we don't have to put it in the chest. <laughs>